Okay, in this final example, we're going to now look at the mass of Jupiter and ask, what is its mass in terms of solar masses? So, first of all, a little bit of nomenclature here. This capital M with a circle dot subscript, at least that's what I'm trying to write out here on my tablet, <laughs> is the indicator that we're talking about the mass of the sun. So circle dot means sun in astronomy. So here's our sun, it's one solar mass, and we learned earlier that it's also 1.989 times 10 to the 30 kilograms. Now the mass of Jupiter happens to be 1.898 times 10 to the 27 kilograms. So right away, we can make a statement here that the mass of Jupiter is going to be somewhere in the order of three powers of 10 less than the mass of the sun. And I express uh, less powers of 10, you might say, as a negative exponent. So three, uh, 10 to the minus three solar masses. So to make sense of this negative three exponent, the way you wanna do that is, if you wanted to write that out longhand, you would just write that out as a single zero followed by a decimal point. So this first zero is the first of our three zeros. So that's zero, decimal point, second zero, third zero, one. So that's what it's like to use negative powers of 10. It's just a way of expressing a fractional amount. Again, my apologies for my handwriting, but there it is. Okay, so we know that our answer is gonna be somewhere in this general ballpark. Exactly where it falls in this general ballpark, we're about to find out. So the mass of Jupiter is going to be equal to, and we want our answer in solar masses. So to do that, we're gonna say one solar mass, as one point. Okay, good news. Our answer is going to be in solar masses. Why? Because the kilograms cancel. Hooray! However, we have a bit of a situation here. We now are going to be dividing powers of 10. And it's really not that hard to do because to divide by powers of 10, all you do is you take the exponent that is in the bottom part of this fraction, the denominator, and you subtract this number from this number. So let's, first of all, let me go ahead and just divide 1.898 by 1.989. That gives me 0 0.954 times 10 to the 27 minus 30, that's minus three, solar masses. Okay, great, but we have a slight problem. Remember our little rule of thumb, we want to keep these multipliers somewhere between greater than or equal to one, but always less than 10. So we're violating this standard, right? So we need to convert this into 9.54. The only problem is if we multiply this whole value by 10, well, that will give us a 9.54, but it will also increase our final answer and we'll be wrong. But you know how you can multiply any number by one and it's perfectly fine? Let's go ahead and do that. Let me show you this little trick. I'm just gonna multiply by one, but the one is gonna be a number divided by itself. In other words, I'm gonna multiply it by 10 divided by 10. Why do I do that? Because 10 by itself is the same thing as saying 10 to the first power divided by 10 to the first power. So you see what it can do here. I could take 10 to the first power, multiply it by 0 0.954, and I can take 10 to the minus three and divide it by 10 to the first. So we will get an answer that is going to be exactly in the format we want. I take 10 to the minus three and subtract from minus three, one. So minus three minus one is 10 to the minus four. 
solar masses. So it turns out that, yeah, uh, we were looking for 10 to the minus 3, and you might think, oh, we're wrong. But remember, we're really close to jumping up to that next power of 10, which would be 10 to the minus 3 in this case. We're just falling ever so slightly short. So Jupiter is not even quite at 10 to the minus 3. It's actually just a little bit less massive than that in terms of solar masses. Okay, so that was a whole bunch of math and all kinds of stuff. And as promised, a picture of my cat, Leo. Now, I want to warn you, he thinks he's a lion, but roar. There's my buddy. There's my little son, Leo, jumping out of the bag and terrorizing the house. Thank you, Leo, for taking a nap during this recording.